Good evening, YouTube. So I wanted to walk through a couple of these open SCAD files that I created for the Rancho shock absorber bushings that I've made in the last couple of videos. So originally, this was the bushing I started with, and I had modeled this in Fusion 360. At the time, I just needed to get something to replace the missing bushings that were on my truck, and so I just basically measured some dimensions and I hard-coded them into a drawing file and I got a, an STL file out and printed them and got them to fit and I figured that was the end of it but then when we came around to making the bushings for the Mazda pickup I had to number one modify these files so I had done the L1 hourglass bushing as the shock I had but this Mazda pickup use the L3 hourglass as well as the LS straight bushing. So I had to kind of dust off this old file and I did modify it in Fusion 360 but it was really hard to keep the versions and keep all the files separate and then share parameters and it was just very difficult to do. We had to do a lot of things changing the default dimensions. Like I said I had hard-coded everything in because in my case all I needed was this bushing with a bigger hole in it but for the Mazda we had to change a number of dimensions and so I ended up converting these over to open SCAD and that's a lot nicer because you can see everything here everything's in ASCII text you can just read it on the screen and then you can see what your part looks like over here. You can turn it around. Everything's ready to go. You don't have to flip back and forth between different screens like you do in Fusion 360. And this really works nice. I have just wanted to walk through some of the parameters here. So I have the inside diameter. That's the diameter of the hole. The original was 5 eighths of an inch. You can put any metric or imperial size. And then I have a separate ID clearance setting, which you can use to adjust the size of the hole that actually prints on your printer. In my case, I found the hole shrinks about a half a millimeter. So I've got to increase the inner diameter roughly half a millimeter to get it to print the correct size. In my old drawing file, I added this number onto that number and just hard coded it in there. And it was really messy trying to change sizes of holes and things like that. So all you have to do is figure out what does your printer print for a given diameter. You put that here and then you put the size hole you want up here. Now the other parameter you can specify is the height. Since in this model file you're building this bushing off of the XY plane and the height is how far up the Z axis you go. Now in real life, the bushing is gonna be horizontal, and so that would be the width, but I just kept it height here in the model file. So I think having the width and the diameter would be very confusing versus if you have the height and the diameter, it just makes more sense. But this is basically the width of your shock mount, and then I have this offset parameter. If you set the offset to zero, you get a symmetrical bushing. The bottom and the top are the same. But if I come over here and maybe make that four millimeters, you can see now the top is taller and the bottom is shorter. And then down here, likewise, on the outside diameter, I have this OD extra parameter positive number adds to the outer diameter and again accounts for shrinkage on your printer. If the printer prints too big, you can make this number negative and that just adjusts how much do you add to the physical dimensions here. Below this line, I just have the dimensions of the Rancho bushing itself. So I have the maximum diameter here, and then I have the minimum diameter 
and those are the dimensions off of the Rancho bushing. And then I have the height here. I call it height two is the distance from this big point to that big point. So that's basically the width of the shock eye. And so those are all fixed for the L1 bushing. So if you want to make a bushing that fits into an L1 shock eye, you need these dimensions here. And then the way the part's made, it just uses this rotate extrude command. And there's a polygon that basically outlines the cross section of the bushing and then that gets rotated. So let me show you the L3 bushing. It's almost identical. Okay, yeah, this is the L3 bushing. It's basically the same as the L1. It's just bigger. Uh, the original hole is three quarter inch. So I, I put that here in the file three, but you can put any millimeter dimension you want. And then I keep the same ID clearance. The height's a little different, 45.6 millimeters. And again, you've got the offset parameter. And then I have the same OD extra parameter. So let me show you the straight bushing. That one's a little bit different. Okay, so this is the LS straight bushing. I haven't quite figured out all of the numbers. There's a, a whole bunch of LS and then number, like LS1, LS2, LS3. And I believe those are all the same bushing, but with different size sleeves in them. As far as I know, they're all the same physical dimension, at least on the outside. And this bushing is a little bit different because the original rancho bushing is one piece so it's got a flange a center section and then there's a flange on the other side and those are really hard to work with you basically destroy the bushing getting it out i've changed that so the bushing actually prints as two halves it's a split bushing Again, you can specify the inside diameter of the hole, uh, the ID clearance, the same parameter. So here, this is the overall height or width of the shock mount that you're trying to fit. So like on the Mazda, we used 40 millimeters here. But you can see, here's the bottom of the bushing, and it doesn't even go up to 20. This half of the bushing is only half the height so it goes up just a little over 18 millimeters here and you need to print two halves to make one bushing but i figured it was easier to work with the overall height and then have the open scad file divide everything in half so all you have to do is deal with the overall width and the file will figure everything else out and then there's the flange diameter that one you can change this is what uh, rancho shipped about 32 millimeters and then i added a little chamfer parameter here if you want to round over the corners and then again i have the od extra so everything is just put in the dimensions you want the thing to be these files will make the parts that size so then I've uploaded all those files to Thingiverse here. Just have some photos and the, the model files. I try to describe some of the background of that. Here's all the files. You've got the SCAD files. The STL files I printed are just the original Rancho bushing dimensions. Yeah, so give the bushings a try. If they work for you, post up a make or leave a comment on the YouTube video. Let me know what filament you use, uh, what vehicle you put them on. I think these should last a fair bit of time. And I, th I think this is a, a reasonably good application for a flexible filament. And you can actually use it for a real thing on a vehicle. So yeah, give it a try and let me know how it works. As always, thanks for watching.